Well, we're back out here another day working on the bike. And uh, what I'm going to focus on today is obviously you can see here, I don't have the chain on there right now. But with the chain there and then your leg coming down in this area, you can see how it'd be really easy to get your shorts or your jeans or even worse, get some flesh caught in between the chain and the sprockets. So what I'm going to work on today is making a cover, uh, utilizing these four threaded holes, making a cover to go over this assembly right here. And I was fortunate enough, uh, I went digging through my uh, big box of bolts, and I mentioned this in a couple videos, that it, several years ago I did make a, like a little mini bike project. Well, I found in my big box of bolts another uh, bearing flange and uh, the retainer. So, uh, what I'm also, I'm going to, you know, I've got the two bearing flanges in there now. I'm going to come in here and mount this third one on the, onto the shaft and I'm going to make it come off the engine. And I mentioned that in a couple of videos. That was what I was originally going to do. But then I decided to come in here and just weld this flange to, to the bike. But since I got a third one now, I am a little bit worried about deflection on this. Uh, jack shaft from the pulling of the engine. So I'm going to come in here and build a little with a plate coming off the engine. Then I'm going to weld this uh, flange retainer to, and we're going to have a third bearing on this uh, jack shaft. So you can't have too many bearings on there as long as they're all lined up and uh, working properly. Uh, everything should be hunky dory. So uh, that's what I'm going to be working on this evening. Alright, there you can see one of my original little set screws that goes into the uh, one of the sprockets. There's the other one. The smaller one goes to the uh, smaller 10 tooth sprocket and this larger one goes to the larger uh, 14 tooth sprocket. The size of this uh, set screw is a 5 16 with an 18 thread. It's 18 threads per inch so it's a coarse thread. The smaller one is quarter with 24 threads per inch. So that's the fine thread. And I mentioned in the last video when I was working on the jack shaft I was going to go get longer ones. So I got two of these. One is for the larger sprocket. The other one is for uh, the locking collar. And then of course I got this longer quarter inch uh, set screw for the smaller sprocket. So when I was also there I got the thread locking compound as you can see. I got the blue which is uh, removable. It's It locks it in place but you can also take it out fairly easily if you need to. And like I said I just showed you I also got I found this other bearing flange in my uh, in my box of bolts and these are kind of supposed to be a little bit of a snug fit but as you can see it's not too snug it's not snug at all actually so while I was at the hardware store I also got one additional three quarter inch locking collar came with a set screw and this set screw is not very long it's about a quarter inch tall if you can see that so for that one I did get a little bit longer one. These were the last two. It's the same 516's coarse thread. These two were the last uh, half inch ones that they had. So I just went with the 3 8 uh, in length, which is you know an eighth inch longer. So I'm going to have to take the, ja the jack shaft off and drill a little landing area for this new uh, locking collar. But that's after I get uh, the cover and the bearing holder mounted to the engine. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how I like to make uh, templates. Uh, generally what I like to use is this kind of a thick paper. This right here, you can see this little tab right here. This is one of those hanging folders uh, in like a file cabinet. It just hangs in there. I like these because the paper, it's, it's thicker than like regular old paper. Uh, and it's really easy to work with and it usually makes good templates. You can also use like the thicker like manila kind of file folders and stuff like that. So we got this, need some scissors, need our pen, 
and we're ready to start making a template. All right, so we got our rough template made, and all this really tells us is our rough parameters. Uh, what we need to know, like the bolt pattern, and the diameter we need to cut out in the center to have clearance for the uh, centrifugal clutch, and then also the clearance we need around here uh, to clear the bearing and to be able to weld that bearing flange retainer onto uh, our uh, extension arm thing. So what I like to do now is come in, use the other half of my folder and actually make a better template, actually make a true template that I'm going to transfer to the steel and uh, get this real refined and uh, then get at it, uh, bring the piece of steel out here and uh, trace that on there. All right, and here we have our slightly more refined template. Uh, I personally work better in steel, uh, so I'm just going to get this rough template uh, drawn onto the steel, get these holes centered up, and uh, then just work the steel. All right, here you can see, I got my uh, eighth inch plate. Oh, that didn't zoom very good. There it is, eighth inch plate steel, and my template. And fortunately, I did, I was able to get in there and find my little punch tool. So I'm gonna transfer this template onto the steel, start punching some holes, and uh, get going on this uh, on this uh, uh, this bracket. All right, so I got the template marked out on the steel, and the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and drill all these little holes. Well, that didn't come out good. So you can see the little holes. There's one here, here, there, there, and uh, right there. They are. I marked them with uh, sharpie just so you guys would be able to see them. But they're in there. With, little divots from the uh, punch tool. So I'll come in here and I'll drill out those holes. Just gonna drill a quick pilot. And uh, uh, for these larger ones, like in this area, I'm gonna come in here with a hole saw and uh, drill that out and then I'll cut it with the cutoff tool. And then here in the center, this little thing in the center, I'll just use one hole saw and uh, cut that out there. So. I'll get all my tools and uh, we'll get going on this. All right, so I got my drill out. I'm gonna come in here and pilot drill all of these holes and then the four mounting holes that mount the bracket to the engine. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my step drill bit and drill those out. And I'll come back later uh, with the hole saw bits and uh, drill out those two large diameter holes. So we'll get started now drilling out these pilots. That's it for all the little pilot holes. We tip this up and brush that off. We will come in here and change drill bits. My pilot bit's getting a little dull. And we'll get started on the, uh, the four mounting holes. And that's it. And you can see how these blue chips that thing makes. This thing is really hot. So, uh, what I'm going to do is flip it over here. And you can see how bad those little burrs are on there. And I'll show you how these step drills come in handy for stuff like that. You just come in here and just drill that little burr off just like that. So, uh, I'll go get my. Uh, Pulse all bits and uh, we'll get going on those.